You've watched What Would You Do? Now we're bringing you Actor After Scene, where our actors lift the curtain and reveal just what it takes to make hidden camera magic. What? Look, I don't know what you're trying to say, but I don't have time for this. Aren't you supposed to have an interpreter here or something? How did it feel taking part acting in this scenario today? I felt shocked a little bit, actually, because I'm used to, when this situation actually happens, people don't actually stand up and respond, or it takes quite a long time before somebody gets involved. But every time it happened here, people immediately reacted, and I was shocked. Look, man, I don't have time for this. I'm not playing charades with you. Could you show a little more sensitivity? Sorry? Is this something wrong with you? I just, I got a full dining room over there. I don't yeah, have time okay. to... Okay. You don't treat people that way. What the hell would happen if it was you when you were deaf? What would you do? What would you do? You come into a diner and you don't want to eat. What do you want people to know about the deaf? We can communicate. You don't have to know sign. If you learn sign, that's fine, but you don't have to know sign language. You can communicate in modes of different ways. You just have to have an open mind and have the willingness to communicate, the compassion to communicate. As you know, we brought along Niall DeMarco, who uh, is not only a model and actor, but a real advocate. I think it's a great way to show everyone in the world about deaf culture. He's a great role model. This is also a great way to give more opportunities to deaf people and deaf talent. Have you experienced this kind of discrimination yourself, personally? Sure. I think it's a lot worse knowing that my entire family is deaf. All of us being deaf, if we go out to a restaurant, often waiters are completely petrified. They're not sure what to do with us. You can see kind of in their eyes their world collapsing as they see us and trying to figure out how to communicate with us. What is your message to people who discriminate against the deaf? Please just be open-minded. Accept other people for who they are. And learn how to communicate with everybody. Not only deaf people, but also with other people. People of different languages, people of different backgrounds. You know, the simplest body language, the simplest gestures will go a long way and have a big impact. I love it. Honestly, I really hope this is great. I hope that people really take away this message um, and provide better experiences for all deaf people out there. You leave here inspired? Absolutely. I'm very, very surprised after today, seeing so many people step in and so many people lend a hand. It's definitely unexpected, but I'm really happy to see that those people are out there. It was... We can finally eat in peace. I thought the scene went very well, but it really touched me. I, I felt like I want, you know, I want to see more people like this in the world. So you were surprised in a good way? Yes, absolutely. A really good way. Hey there, I'm John Quinones. Thanks for checking out our Actor After Scene on our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So take a moment to click on this red button right down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment.